Close call for a Polk County Sheriff's deputy. He has been released from the hospital after a suspect shot him in the chest. A bulletproof vest saved his life. Rescue's Kelsey Thorne has the details from Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says it is a miracle that one of his deputies was not shot and killed during a shootout with a suspect Wednesday night. He says that suspect shot at his deputy six times, one bullet hitting him in the chest, but it was blocked by his bulletproof vest. That vest clearly and unequivocally saved his life. That was a dead center shot into his heart. Sheriff Grady Judd says his deputy, Deputy Herodis Tony Nunez, was released from the hospital Thursday morning and is doing fine. Deputy Nunez was shot by this man, 41-year-old Gabriel Batista, Wednesday night while responding to a domestic incident in Davenport. And as they go out to approach him, he has his hands behind his back and they ask to see his hands. He refuses. The sheriff said when deputies tried to tase Batista, he pulled a gun from behind his back and started shooting. Deputy Nunez was hit once in the chest, but the bullet was stopped by his bulletproof vest. And he was wearing his St. Michael's medallion that he says he never leaves home without. As a result, he has a scuff mark on his chest, we believe is where the bullet struck through the vest to the St. Michael's and that's what caused the scratch. The sheriff says Deputy Nunez returned fire but his gun jammed. Batista was not injured in the shootout. He now faces multiple charges including attempted first degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Now, this is the second Polk County deputy to be shot here in just the last eight days. Deputy Blaine Lane was shot and killed while serving a warrant last week. In Polk County, I'm Kelsey Thorne, WESH 2 News.